I think I should buy a pair of Uggs. And this comes off the back of seeing this amazing editorial with Andre Leon Talley, um, wearing a basically being the new face of Uggs, the new face of Uggs, and he makes them look somewhat interesting. Again, he's always sitting down, um, you know, in this amazing pose that he has on there. But I really, really, really like how he's basically flexing them. And it basically made me think, hmm, maybe I could make them work. My idea is to have them paired up with like a really outdoorsy, mountaineery jacket, Patagonia, Arteritz, maybe like a North Face or something along those kind of lines. Some nice um, washed out Levi's rolled up and those big uh, boots type of things um, tucked in or, or overlapping on the outside. Sort of similar to this image here. This is the sort of look I'm going for. But of course, selvage denim. So you have the little selvage detail there on the side. But this sort of look, I think it's going to work. I really do. Oh, I've got to get rid of this shop tagger thing. Go away, go away, go away. Back we go. So yeah, what do you guys think? Am I bugging out? Um, is it not a good idea? They're quite expensive too, though, right? They're 165. They're a lot more. Oh, I've got these pop ups loading up. They're a lot more expensive than I imagined them to be. I don't know why. I think I thought they would be a lot. Uh, cheaper than what they actually are but they're rather expensive 165 is not cheap and um yeah i'd probably beat them up wear them like a wear them like your local chav in the area that has the whole back leaning to one side uh bulging and all weird and disfigured but i quite like them and i think they look pretty cool what do you think Edron Lee and Tally made me want a pair of Uggs. So this is a campaign here from Harper's Bazaar. It says, Edron Lee and Tally is the man of many. Oh, God almighty. Why does it keep doing that? Anyway, Edron Lee and Tally is a man of... Let's go, where is it? Back here. Edron Lee and Tally is a man of many um, expressory words. But for his uh, latest project, the legendary fashion editor and first black creative director for the major fashion magazine, Nate only to pronounce one UG. Um, Tally, a larger than life character and walking encyclopedia fashion industry, has been tapped by the California based label known for its fleece line footwear to star in its latest campaign, which will also reportedly star model Imam. <laughs> Iman, sorry. Um, titled Feel, the ongoing series started in November, September featuring the artist Sonia Sombrio. Um, Fulton Leroy Washington was followed by the collection with a buzzy designer, Telfer Clemens, which they look really cool too. If you've seen the ones by Telfer, I look look amazing and um, now ug has um set its um site oh is it ug or uggs it's ug okay my bad it says it's, i can't even pronounce the name of the brand i want them it says it's that's in the fashion dish icon but just don't call him that to his face he says an iconic person is someone who has achieved a great deal in their life tally express i don't consider myself an icon i consider myself uh i consider president obama and the first lady michelle obama icons what they did for this country was amazing come out of harris will be an icon the first female vice president in every history in our country cool cool that's all whatever but they they look pretty cool on him man don't get me they look amazing here like fair enough he's tall he's got a presence he's just got some swag even when he's sitting down he's probably the only person i've seen that looks good sitting down most people have to do that weird make your legs look longer thing and you know crouching or standing next to a wall or looking like they're running somewhere but he looks really amazing sitting down on the chair looks amazing and i think what are those socks on the outside right yeah they are right massive woolly socks He's got the ones that are sort of cut off like sandals somewhat. Oh, they look so good. Though Tally may shun the, hor the honorific title, it's certainly deserved. A front row fixture for nearly five decades, he has championed the leading talents in the fashion industry, from designers to models to labels like UGG. He's even worn the brand signature boots for a number of glitzy events. He says, I'm the number one UGG fan. In fact, you've seen me so many times in the front row during fashion weeks in international global cities like Paris, London, Milan and, and Rome wearing a classic ugly boot. Okay, I didn't know that. Tally has since left the fashion journalism starring his own radio show on Sirius XFM in 2017 and releasing a memoir, The Chiffon Trenches. Yeah, I've got to check that out actually. I haven't read the autobiography. It's meant to be really good. Um, lately, he's been quarantining at home in the White Plains, New York, which served as a backdrop for his campaign. Look at his home. His home looks amazing, doesn't it? In one image, Tally sports a tassam slipper and a crinkle Kaftan um, butterfly embroideries. Another shot is him wearing a new boot with a fedora and a red puffer coat by Norma Kamali. This reminds me a lot of um, 
uh, my dad did a few things like this, right? Like a sort of duvet blanket sort of jacket thing. Um, it looks incredible in this outfit. Really, really well done. With a career um, like his, the halls of his daily home are filled with every conceivable style of leading to the names of footwear. But for Tally, when it comes to the ease of practicality, Ugg is the cut above. He says, I love the beautiful luxury shoes. I have wardrobes of Manolo Bernick's shoes made for just me. Wardrobes of John Lube shoes, which I could not afford today. And Bellucci shoes, Tom Ford shoes by beautiful um as for your foot looks in those custom made shoes there's nothing as quite comfortable as an ugg slipper which i definitely agree with i think that's a very good thing to know in terms of collection of shoes and even it maybe extends to clothes i think you should always have you should probably always have stuff that occupies both ends of the spectrum so in one sense it's great to wear designer trainers i have got a pair of you know balenciaga triple s's but i also love wearing air force ones white and blacks right all white all blacks classic low classic mid and um i think those they both occupy you know one's like 90 pounds the other's like 600 but they both occupy they both occupy different um, ends of the price range but they're all they both can be very they can both can be styled in a very great way right so that's what i think you should be um putting in your collection but again yeah, I want a pair, man. I really do. I think they look pretty cool. Um, maybe I'm bugging out here. Maybe I'm kind of freaking out and I think I'm going to look like Adrian Telly and I probably won't look like Andre Leon Telly. But I want to give it a go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Should I buy myself a pair of Uggs or should I leave it for the ladies? <laughs> Let me know. Ladies in the surf. Because it's meant to be a good... Why do surfers wear this? I remember that was a big thing. You heard a lot. Oh, they wear them on the beach. Surfers, it's a big deal. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, I like them, man. They look pretty cool. And then I saw this article here from BuzzFeed talking about Uggs. Um, this trend here on TikTok, supposedly, of these kids cutting their boots so they can look like slippers for some reason, which is odd considering that they sell a slipper. So this is a headline from Ugg. It says, people are cutting up their Ugg boot to make them into slippers and it's painful to watch. So you've got this image of a person wearing an Ugg and you've got this kid, I'm guessing, hopefully it's not some copyright music cutting a bit yeah let's take that off look at them oh you know it reminds me of a little bit i think someone else mentioned it that they there was this thing i think um uh is it steve caballero right that's what the, the half cabs are basically named off of he was basically the one that basically was cutting skate highs or whatever they may be into mids and that's when they started making mids, right? That was a big thing in um, uh, skate culture. You'd get a high top and you cut it into a mid to, you know, basically make them more comfortable. But then, you know, later on, they basically made you the actual shoes. So you didn't need to cut them anymore. So it's really odd that they're doing this. Um, again, maybe, do you think it's, do you think you need to get some credit to Virgil? This is a Virgil thing, a remedy, like, because he was obviously doing the whole DIY thing, cutting on, sh cutting sh I encourage people to cut the shoes, draw on it. Maybe this is kind of an extension of it, or maybe it's just a consequence of lockdown because kids are bored and they're at home, nothing to do. The Uggs are usually their slippers that they wear around the house, even though they're very expensive. So they're just kind of taking scissors to them and just, and because everyone else does it on social, they just do them themselves anyway. But it's really interesting, isn't it? Take the music off, I've got a little pair here, got a little flare. They're literally cutting them with scissors into slippers. <laughs> God almighty, 160 quid uh, boots, mate. These kids are insane. Niggas, they ain't fucking. Can just get over here, get someone else, cut them as well. Yikes. That's a big deal, man. Again, I like the shoe, man. I don't know what, what it is about them now. My eyes have kind of changed in terms of what I see when I look at them. I don't see the old frumpy Karen shoe. I see something I'd actually want to wear. Um... What, what people are saying in the comments is saying, uh, okay, overall people thought the idea was pretty brilliant. Oh my God, I threw my ripped ones away. This is genius. Another person says, love this. Great way to repurpose. Uh, I guess what? Because if, if they're beat up, I guess, right? You just kind of, because I guess the, the top bit usually gets a bit deformed. But still, man, just buy the slipper. However, some still couldn't bring themselves to do it. She says, oh my God, I don't care how old your Uggs are. I ain't doing that. Um, is there a big market? there is it must be nasty there's a big market for like secondhand Birkenstocks right you see them a lot on Facebook people selling Birkenstocks and the, you know their whole foot's imprinted on it on the inside and they'll write something like hardly worn it's like hardly worn mate your whole I can see your DNA on the flipping sandal I wonder if there's a secondhand market for Uggs like that must be a funky shoe man 
like all deformed and with all your kind of toe crevices on the inside where you kind of like to chill out and hang out in the, your weird funky feet smell i'm sure there's some nasty nasty white girls that exist to kind of wear uggs barefooted as well in it so just imagine buying that off somebody yuck uh, for reference if you want to buy a brand new pair of slippers which is what adrian leon tally's got they're hundred dollars okay oh pretty decent isn't it again i don't know should i get them let me know in the comments down below should i get a pair of uggs um type yes type y for yes and n for no 